everyone, how are you? And welcome back to Alex Builds Stuff. I really like starting this episode with this tree in the background. This is what we built in the last episode, or we did the decorations to the tree. I didn't put the actual tree building in an episode because I already did an episode about tree building, so it just didn't make sense to do another one. But anyways, if you want to see the episode of me building the giant spruce tree, I will have the link to that in the description. And if you want to see the video of me decorating this tree, then I will have the link in the description to that video as well, or you can just navigate through the playlist, whichever you prefer. Anyways, so we also have the um, areas where I mapped out the this village behind me, and I talked about a few other things too that I wanted to do in the video regarding like ice fishing huts and stuff like that. But um, anyways, what I do want to give you guys a little bit of an update about is first and foremost i love doing this series i really do this series means a lot to me it's something that i have a lot of fun with i love being able to showcase my building especially doing a modded let's build because i haven't found a continuous modded let's build on youtube yet they're very um they're not very popular not very many people do them and the reason they're not popular is because i think a lot of people think people don't want to watch them because it's with mods and it's not vanilla. And I understand that and I respect that choice and I think that that makes a lot of sense. However, I'm one of those sorts of people where it's like, oh, nobody's done that yet. Well, let me give it a try. And I want this series to survive. My series is called Alex is Modded for a reason. My channel is about mods and it's also about multiplayer um, series as well, which is why I have the Infinity Craft series and we use data packs and stuff like that. So I kind of made it work for my channel, but I don't want this series to die. However, the last episode got five views. <laughs> and if I continuously make videos that don't get a lot of views and a lot of likes and a lot of comments, it's going to hurt my channel overall. My other series, Infinity Craft, will suffer. So I don't want to kill this series. I do not want to cancel Alex Build Stuff. I want this series to survive. So if you have been continuously watching these videos and you like what I do, please leave a like and a comment to this video. Please do that. I'm not trying to beg you, but I'm kind of begging you here. Because if you don't show support, even though you're watching the video, I can't make more videos for you. And you know, I have a continuous set of people who watch these videos, so I want to keep producing it. But if you don't show that you like it, YouTube reads it as nobody likes it. It doesn't show up in search results. It doesn't do well. It hurts my channel overall, and it makes it harder for me to make more videos. It also is a little demotivating because I work really hard on this stuff, and if it doesn't get any kind of recognition, then I'm like, why am I doing it? And, I mean, I'm doing it because I like to do it, but <laughs> there is an aspect of this that's called entertainment. So there's that as well. And it's very hard to understand, too. It's not an easy thing for people to understand on YouTube. It took me three years to understand the way that YouTube works. I did not, like, come to an understanding of this overnight. So, <laughs> you know, there's that. But anyways, I'm sorry, I have to kind of cough. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, so what I want to do today, because I didn't get any responses to... That's the wrong button. We didn't need to look at the back of my head. I need my gooey. Anyways, what I talked about in the last episode was, please help me decide what goes in a lot of these like big house areas. And nobody said anything. <laughs> So I'm not going to put anything in the L-shaped house or this one or that one or the big storage building right there. Like, I'm, I'm pretty decided on what this one's going to be, a big storage building, but I'm not 100% decided. Oh, there's a bunny in there, too. Anyways, but I don't know what to put in these. I really don't. I'm, I'm at a loss. I mean, I... I tried to... I kind of tried to do more research about Japanese villages and what would be appropriate. It's not like I'm not familiar with Japanese culture because I am. It's just I'm like, so what should I put here? I kind of want to, want, on one hand, I want to be realistic, but on the other hand, I also want to be like me in my style because this is not Japan. 
this is Minecraft. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, um, I'm kind of like, okay, I got really close to that house. <laughs> anyways. So, I really, I don't know what to do. And I would like your advice on what to do. I hope that makes sense. Um, that should be sufficient. So I'm going to just build the, the little houses. Obviously the sandesite's not staying, but I'm just going to build the little houses. And I'm going to make, I think, I'm going to make the little houses just slightly different from that house up there. Like, not so different it's out of style, but different so that it's, like, unique. Because maybe the houses on the ground should have a slightly different structure than the houses up above. I just feel like that makes sense. I also feel like the houses up here would be a lot colder than the houses down here. Because I feel like this is farther from the water, so it's a bit more sheltered. Especially because there's a tree right here, and it's kind of tucked up against the mountain. But this is like out in the open. There's just air blowing up there. That's I've, I've never lived in the mountains, so I don't know <laughs> um, how mountain living works. How did I do this, actually? I don't even remember how I did this. How did I do this? This is a... Okay, two. Two, two, two. Okay, I, I did it just like my Nordic-style roofs. Okay, never mind. I understand now. I'm not a complete idiot, just a partial idiot. Anyways. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, I hate when I do that. I have weather off, so I can't be like, Oh, it's okay, it'll just come back when the snow starts. No, it won't. It'll never come back. Boop. No. That one. See, you see the breath thingy? I would love to turn that off. I can't figure out how. If you under, if you're like a master of dynamic surroundings, the mod, and you know how to turn off the breath, please help me. <laughs> because I'd like to turn it off. Like, I'm, I'm becoming desensitized to it, but still, I'm... I'm reaching a point where I'm like, I really want it to kind of just go away. <laughs> because I think probably for you guys, it might be a little annoying to look at, too. I didn't really think about that too much. I mean, I could also remove dynamic surroundings, because it's not really necessary, but... In any mod pack that I make for myself, I have to have dynamic surroundings, so there's also that. Let me just do that right there. Okay, good. I like to do that. To me, it... Because when it's just, like, sitting on the dirt, I think that just looks bad. Wait. No. This. Pick block. When it's... Oh, I, I thought that was a green sheep over there anyway. <laughs> when it's just like that, to me, that's like, that does not look right. That really doesn't look right. To me, it looks like the corner's about to fall over. It doesn't have enough corner support. To me, that's unrealistic. So, yeah, and I just gave you guys, like, this big speech about we're not making things realistic and here I am making things realistic because, you know, that makes sense. Anyways, so, um, yeah, but let me move on to, like, other topics because just talking about the houses and building it, as I've said before, is not interesting. It really isn't. I mean, maybe to some people it is, but to me it's not. <laughs>
started in, I had forgotten that the shelf thing here, this like panel, whatever you want to call it, support beam, is on that house and I wanted this to stay within that style so I added that in. I had forgotten it the last episode and I kind of got started a little bit on interior. Just a little bit, like there's no interior on the other side or over here other than this area. So I talked about in a previous episode the whole sliding door thing and how not every single Japanese home in Japan has sliding doors. Like in on the interior, yes, but on the exterior, not everybody has a sliding door that's made out of, you know, the paper. Like, could you imagine in this day and age, in 2018, having a door to your home that is made out of this material? It would be very, very easy for someone to break into your house. So, in Japan, they actually do have doorknobs. I mean, I've known about that for a really long time. That's not something that I researched for this build. But um, a lot of people don't realize that. Like, a lot of people think that every single home in Japan has sliding doors. And that's... The exterior doors do not... They have doorknobs. They ha they invented those in Japan. You know, they're, they're not primitive. So, um... Yeah, anyways, it, it's just like a thing that gets on my nerves. I mean, I... I had a conversation today with somebody about, you know, my oversensitivity to Southeast Asian culture, especially Japanese culture, because it was a big part of my upbringing. So I'm kind of like, no, that's not how it works. Or no, don't say things like that. But that's um, because of my upbringing. And, I, and it's like very similar to, not exactly like, but very similar to the way that people who live in Japan tend to act. You know, how the Japanese tend to react to those types of things if you get what i'm kind of driving at here so um yeah i have a tendency to react similar to someone who would have grown up in japan that even though i didn't grow up there and that's because of the influence that japanese culture has had on me because my godmother and her husband lived in japan for a while so japan's art and culture is been a big part of my upbringing along with I'm um, studying Kenpo when I was a kid so I um, got into that as well so it's yeah I've had um I've been heavily influenced which is good so um yeah it's better to be influenced by a lot of things than no things so yeah but what I want to do in today's episode is just work on interior for this house because I still have no idea at this point in time what to do for the rest of these houses. Like, I'm gonna do that. Houses there. I may end up turning that into a, one big... No, actually, I want to have some small houses. Two. I don't want to have just, like, big houses. I mean, the mountain homes that I looked at, they're all really big. But I'd like to have some small ones, too, just because I think it'd be cute. I wish that there was a way to get different types of villagers in 1.12. I know with 1.14 we're going to get all kinds of different looking villagers. And that's going to make me go bonkers. Because it's going to be like, yes, thank you. But we don't have that yet. So, um, what do I want to do here? I, what do I want to do for interior? Because they've got this like little stay as if somebody lives in this house. But they have this like storage and that's about as far as I got. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's like, I'm like, okay, storage, and then, and then what? Because what it, the way that I designed this house up here, I kind of have to refresh my memory right now, but the way that I did this house up here, it's pretty obvious who lives here. Some kind of explorer that, like, digs for stuff, which I also did in Butterfly Glade, so I need to come up with a new idea. It's very hard for me sometimes. Sometimes it's very hard to be original. So, um, yeah. But, uh, what do I want to do? I'm not sure. Um, I gotta think about it a little bit here. Hang on. So, um, let me, let me cut and think. And, like, stare at the, the space inside and maybe, um, gain inspiration from it. And I'll be back with you guys when I have some ideas. Okay, folks, so I have a, um... I have an idea here, alright? So I was thinking about different stuff that I know about Japanese culture. And one thing that I studied while I was a student at Southern was pottery making. And one of the things that was um, really... 
how could I put it? Um, one of the things that I tried to study extensively was the making of what they refer to in Japan as a chawan. And the chawan is a tea bowl, or, you know, tea cup. I th it's, it's really more like a cup. I mean, it's used like a cup, but it's a, they it mean, chawan means tea bowl. Anyways, so the way that they are made is a very complicated process. And by complicated, I mean, it's very hard for me to explain it in English. It would be better for me to explain it to you in Japanese, but I don't quite know how to do that. Like, I know how to do that, but I don't know how to do that. It would take me like an hour to relearn how to say it. <laughs> so I think it would honestly be better if I just Google this and look up like some videos for you guys that I can post the links to where you can actually see it for yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, I really think that this particular mountain house should be a pottery studio. I think that would be the best use for this space. So let me get some different kinds of things because I need to have something that's going to look like a pottery wheel. Like I think um, I need to have like one area that's for display and then I think like this side should have like materials like resources and whatnot like me putting a bunch of that looks bad the way that I did that. No, <laughs> I don't like the way that I did that in there. So, yeah, that's okay. That's totally fine. Totally okay. Yeah, that looks normal. Get some like clay in here and make it seem sort of like it. Like, yeah, like the blobs of clay that you use to make your things. That's that's what I'm driving for here. It's I'm oh god, I don't even know how to explain it to you guys, but if you've ever done pottery, you know exactly what I'm aiming at here. If you've never done pottery, this don't make any sense to you. And oh my god, there are so many things in my inventory. Where'd all this stuff come from? Um <laughs> so let's get the blobs of clay from here. And um Yeah, so let me get I want to have, well, I want to put, that. let me walk through the door. Anyways, I want to put just like a bunch of um, clay just like stacked around here. Sort of like, they take the clay from there, they're just grabbing it from there. And I'm going to have like a pottery wheel right here. Like, I want this to be like a pottery studio and for somebody who lives here, not like a pottery studio for... Um, one person, for like multiple people to use. You know what I mean? It's going to be for one person. So, oh, uh, what can I, ooh, you know what? Let's go into the redstone department because that's better. Can I put a pressure plate on top of an anvil? No. Okay, that complicates things. Um... Let me think here. What would be the best thing to use? Well, I think not right there because a pottery wheel right there would just be odd, but right there I think would be like really cool. So, um, a lever? No, let's not do that. Um, hmm. Hoppa would actually be really cool. Oh, I know. Wait. Go like that. And then, um... State. Oh, it even says state. Oh, that's cute. Totally don't need to know that I turned it on, but um, that's cute. I like that um, Huila does that. If you don't know what Huila is, it's my um. Here's what you're looking at. 
uh, mod or HW Y L A Huila. Anyways, so um, I don't need to know that, but okay. How about there? Now that makes it look like a sink, and we don't want to do that. So we'll we'll get rid of that block and that block there. Um, decorations. Um, item frames. Can my uh, can item frames be? <gasps> they can. Oh, that's <gasps> it. Looks like a bat. Oh, that's perfect. That looks stupid, but on the side, but that looks perfect. Yes, that's what I want. And that because some some a lot of them have like the tub thing and whatnot. It's so hard for me to explain a pottery wheel if you've never worked with one before. I'm sorry. It's very hard for me to explain this. Or should no, actually, let me just do a chair. A uh, chair? No. Seat? Yes. Okay. Bruce, where are you? Framed. I like the framed. I want to see what that looks like. Oh, that's cute. I like that. So that's the pottery wheel. I think if you've done pottery, you understand what that is. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so, um... In here, or would it, should it be... Or should it be outside? Would that be a good idea? I think it would be. You shouldn't have a kiln inside a house that's made out of wood anyway, so we'll do the kiln outside, but in here needs to be the displays of things. So let me do that. Um, so you come in, and you have these different types of things. All this earthware right here. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so you come in and you're like, oh, I could buy some of this. Okay. And then you buy it. And <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just being silly now, but you know what I mean. Um, so maybe they've made like a lot of the gray ones and that because that's like what people like, like the gray and black. And uh, would it be nice to have? No, it wouldn't. So there you go. All your chow on here. And maybe there's tea inside them just for like effect, like commercial effect. Like here's your tea. <laughs> I mean, these are flower pods, but, you know, we'll uh, we'll go with it. And um, so, yeah. It would be nice actually to have a. Would it be nice to have a comfy carpet right here? I think it would. So let me do a comfy carpet. And where where's my comfy carpet? Did I I scrolled right by it? Uh, so carpet this. Yeah, that's good. Um, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh. Do I like that? No, I don't. I wonder if anybody's ever realized that I have a tendency to ask myself if I like things a lot in like almost every video that I do. <laughs> like, do I like that? No. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm not sure why I do that. It's almost kind of like odd the way that I like talk to myself when I'm making my videos as much as I, um, talk to you, the viewer. I also have a tendency to talk to myself. I really hope that doesn't weird anybody out. I really, really hope that that doesn't weird people out. <laughs> if it does, I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, we'll use that block right there, and then we are... No, I actually, cobblestone is a bad idea. It's a bad idea. What I like is this and that. I think that's more like insulated looking brick because we don't want to make it look like as if all the heat escapes from the kiln and then pfft. So, um, did, did magma blocks exist in this? Yes, it did. Okay, it did exist in 1.12. Were, were magma blocks added in 1.11? I feel like they were. 
I feel like they existed back in 1.11. They did. I distinctively remember that they existed in 1.11. Okay, anyways, I don't know why I needed to talk about that, but um, you'll see what I'm going to do. So let's... Uh, torches. I needed those, though. Torch. Torch. There's no room for torches. Oh, well. Oh, it is bright in here. Why am I getting so much lag all of a sudden from placing two torches? Okay, well, anyways. Um, so, how do we want to do the kiln? I wanted to have trees over here, but I need a kiln instead. <laughs> so, um... We'll move the trees. We can put the trees elsewhere. They don't have to be right there. Just because we mapped it all out doesn't mean we can't change our minds. So, I'm... I want to have the kiln fairly close, but not, like, too close. If you get what I'm saying. So, there. There. No, I actually... Boop, 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 boop. Does that look right? Yeah, I think that's okay. Boop. And boop. And boop. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I have to shift click. Anyways, so... We'll go like that. And like that. Like that. And like that right there. Then we'll do one of these, and one of these, and then this, and then that. And then up top, we'll go like that. Should we? Oh, you know what I want to do, actually? I want to have it so that it looks like there's something hot being poured into the top of it that um, gives it a bit of glow. So if you're dealing with this thing in the nighttime or at night, it um, has a certain effect or like a little bit of a glow to it. I think that'll be like really cool. So can that go like that? Should that go like that? I don't like that like that. I like that better like that. So there we go. So there is the kiln. So. Yeah, an outdoor kiln. I I don't really know if outdoor kilns are normal. I don't do pottery at home ever for no particular reason. I just don't do pottery at home. I want to. I miss doing pottery. There is a clay studio, pottery studio, like right by my house. You would think that I would have the sense, but um, to go over there. But I haven't embarked on that yet, which is stupid because they have free coffee. And I don't even like coffee, but I always take free coffee. So, um, yeah. Well, it's not that I don't like coffee. It's just I can't have too much caffeine. Otherwise, I, like, go through the roof. Like, if you think I'm hyper in my videos, you have not met me on caffeine. I am a very different person. But, um, there we go. So, this is, is, you walk in, you're like, oh, I can buy these. Okay, these are very pretty and nice. I like the earthware effect. So, um... And if you're work, you know, you live here, your clay is all in here. So get your clay from here. And you would walk through those door, that sliding door that actually opens. But, oh, we've encountered a problem. Now it's gone. We'll put the clay right there. It's fine. Or I'll just put it right there. Anyways, so um, you come through here and you're like, all right, give me s more clay. Oh, you know what? Actually, you know what I wanted to do? I, I wanted to mess with these because these are pretty. And I feel like I should use this in some way. Instead of just putting a blob of clay right there because it really doesn't make any sense. Because like, if you've got clay stored in there, why would you need it over here? I want to use these to make, like, um, 
to show off like different kinds of glaze types or something like that or like glaze tiles because it's actually something that you have like i mean oh you know what <gasps> blank tiles are perfect for to put in those chests also because you do actually need to have those like glaze tiles are how you know what your different glazes look like when they're done it's actually a very important part of um glazing but i also want to pick out not i don't need 64 of those just a few of these to kind of be like here's what it looks like and i want to pick a lot of like really earthy type tones I don't like that color. Uh, things that are very, like, vibrant, but also kind of earthy, but not like the yellows and whatnot, because I think that's, like, too intense, but... And then have that kind of displayed around here, like this one, and then that one can go there, and put that like that, that one, and then maybe that one can go right there. And it's sort of like, these are... And we could pretend that these are, like, vases and whatnot that are displayed around your different, like, pottery pieces. Like, maybe this person also makes cubes. I, I just realized how stupid that sounds. But this person just makes, like, decorative cubes for the inhabitants of this world. It's such a stupid thing. Oh, boy. That's some... Um, I can't believe I said that. I say some pretty dumb things sometimes, but that was um that was a precious dumb right there. <laughs> oh boy. Um I don't think I've ever cracked myself up so hard before in a video. <laughs> it's like maybe they just make can you imagine trying to make a cube on a pottery wheel? I mean, can you really imagine that? That's, like, not possible. <laughs> so, maybe they just ran out of tiles. Like, maybe they just don't have enough to fill this chest. Oh, wait, actually, maybe they do. Hang on here. I think they have enough. I think there's enough here. Yep, with two to spare. Cool. Get rid of those. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. It's, well, actually, you know what? The bat that's on the wheel is square. So, yes, you can make pottery cubes in Minecraft because everything is square. So, it, it works totally. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> decorative cubes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Anyway, so, um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. And, um, in the next episode, I'm not exactly sure what we'll do, but hopefully, um, there have been enough comments on the videos at this point where I've gotten some really great inspiration from you guys. So feel free to share whatever ideas you have down in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you guys very much, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Whoa!